Hey, how you guys doing out there, folks? This right here is a true beauty. I'm doing the best I can for you because this is graded and it's encapsulated and it's glaring with, with all my lights. So I'm just doing the best I can to hold it for you guys steady. Just want to show you guys this beauty right here. Unreal finding, you know, this piece right here. I couldn't believe it. These are gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. I have a lot of stuff, folks, for many, many years that I've been collecting, buying, and selling. Look at this beauty right here. So I had the so this is five zeros. Unfortunately, they're not all continuous. So had the three not been there, and this would be a six zeros, this would be an incredible uh, note. If you guys are not familiar with graded currency, you have to have a prescription, excuse me, subscription to the um, these grading services. And you send these bad babies in, and what they do is, you know, they're authenticated first, of course, like they do every note to make sure that it's real. And then they grade it. They put it in this encapsulated case and then they send this back to you. And you're create, you know, anxious and anxious until you start to receive these. It's awesome, you know. The the lime green in the serial number. There are two different, there's actually six different color inks that's associated with the Federal Reserve notes and, you know, the paper money. The lime green, like you see here, is way more valuable than the dark green serial number because there was less made. Look at this beauty right here, right? The 1928B. You won't see any, you know, I mean... You know, will you run into any of these? You know, I can't say that you will not because I, I try to tell people and they misinterpret, you know, what I say. You got to remember about the psyche that's associated with anything that you collect. Even these, even myself, you know, you know, some days, you know, these people just have a whole bunch of things they're hoarding or, or saving these notes. They just don't have any idea what they are they're just you know saving them and collecting them because they think they're cool especially the two dollar pieces and then sometimes people you know just don't want to collect anymore or they need the money and then they just go unload them at the bank the ones that do know the value you know will sell so there's a big difference there so if you walk into the different banks on an everyday basis and you start shaking all the tellers down respectfully just ask them if they have older notes i think they'll give you more than you can buy you know i've had that happen to me i was like and hey, folks don't ever tell the banker yeah you know in a bank yeah i'll take as many as you got because come on it's a bank you can never have as many as they want they got crazy money there This one is a really, really gorgeous piece right here. Beauty. Just unreal to have anything like this. Look at the solid, thick stars. You don't see that anywhere anymore. They don't make them like that. They make them the thinner stars. I appreciate you guys out there. Thank you very much.